Congratulations! You found the Sandu Pearls Stock Market Commentary for Sunday, July 26, 2015. Market Breadth With this past week's market decline, our bull bear point and figure ratio fell from 0.81 to 0.59, dropping back further into bearish territory. The total count of securities in bullish or bearish patterns rose 3% to 3,339. The count of bearish stocks increased 17%, while the count of stocks in bullish patterns decreased 16%. The Sand to Pearls PNF Market Breadth Summary Chart shows us a market now nine consecutive weeks in bearish territory. Paid subscribers have access to the OpenOffice Calc data from which the chart is generated. You may become a paid subscriber by visiting s2pmarketsignal.com, clicking Membership, clicking Register, and following the prompts. The well-known market breadth indicator, the NASDAQ McClellan Summation Index, fell 102 points for the 13th decline in 25 weeks. At a negative 269.18 points, it continues below all nine tops above plus 100, has risen back below the February 2015 bottom, and is now above four of the five bottoms below minus 100 in the last three years. Volume Analysis In this week's volume analysis, the NASDAQ Composite Index ended in distribution mode with total weekly volume higher than the prior week. In the last two weeks, the NASDAQ had four accumulation days and two distribution days. Accumulation days are counted when the index closes up on higher volume than the prior market day, while distribution days occur when the index closes down on volume higher than the prior market day. Last week, the NASDAQ ended in accumulation mode on lower total weekly volume. Momentum As anticipated in last week's commentary, on Monday, 7.20, the CCI 20 had six consecutive days above zero to shift back to a Woody's uptrend. It has now moved from above plus 100 down to plus 35.86 within the plus or minus 50 range for a valid zero line reject signal should it rise early next week. In Woody's CCI trading system, six consecutive bars above or below zero are required for a change of trend. The weekly CCI 20 of the NASDAQ Composite Index began a Woody's uptrend 53 weeks ago while the daily CCI 20 began a Woody's uptrend last week. The CCI 20 weekly declined slightly from over plus 163 to 126.97 last week, continuing in a Woody's uptrend and experiencing the correctional decline we anticipated in last week's commentary. We wait for the CCI 20 to return to the plus or minus 50 range for a valid zero line reject long entry signal. Industry rotation the last two weeks. All of the top five industries are positive and all of the bottom five are negative. Bullish, CompTech, KBW Bank, and S&P Retail continue in the top five. Networkers has entered and now leads the top five. REITs has re-entered the top five. Gold and silver continues to lead the bottom five. Oil services continues in the bottom five. Oil has entered the bottom five. Computer hardware has left the bottom five. Bearish? None. Focus this week. With all the current emphasis on recent declines in commodity prices, not only of gold and silver, but many other commodities important to the development of emerging nations' economies, 
Now is an especially good time to note that there is one commodity in a healthy uptrend. That commodity is Bitcoin, as this three-month candlestick chart from Bitcoin ticker shows. As currency wars heat up, the new digital currency having a widely distributed, not centralized, control system appears to be performing well after the Mount Go fractional reserve debacle and is perhaps now laying a reasonably solid foundation for a new digital free market economy. Thank you for tuning in for this week's Sand to Pearls stock market commentary featuring the proprietary bull bear point and figure market breadth summary chart compiled by Donald Pearl www dot s2p market signal dot com hoping that you are enjoying a peaceful and pleasant weekend that you are looking forward to a great week coming up and wishing you true success <music>